Mr. Ryden, sir? Where is she? I'll tell her you've arrived. story. Shake? <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> oh, I guess we don't really have time to catch up. Sorry. Not really. It's okay. Follow me. So exactly what kind of... You'll see. You built that? Yep. Lace ramjet engine I designed. Well, are you in a hurry or not? <laughs> right. Hey, thanks, Sonny. Hmm? <laughs> Please switch off all cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no-smoking flight. <laughs> Roger. Ready for countdown. No time for that. Ignition! got the right place? Gotta be. It's the only base big enough with security contracted out to World Marshal. All right. I'm headed in. Landed in Pakistan? Yep, amazing. That Sunny is really something. <laughs> she is genius. I've not seen her for quite some time. She is well? Pretty good. A lot uh sunnier than she used to be for sure. Like day and night from when I first met her. Ah, uh, that was a difficult time, yes. But I am glad she is better now. It's a good thing I got to her when I did. 
I used to not like thinking about all the stuff that was going on then. But now I kind of miss those days. Sadness is not like the ocean. Someday, you can drink it all up. It's a Russian saying. People, they always try to beautify the past as a, a way to cope, yes? But I know it was not easy for you. I'm sorry for all the trouble. Nah, I wouldn't have gotten her out without your help. Pretty wild to think that was my first job with you, huh? Duh. Certainly I was not expecting to work with you for so long. I remember how surprised I was hearing about you starting Maverick. Well, I could not just abandon the PLA. Really, I think I was more surprised you decided to join us. Yeah. Well, you caught me at the right time. I didn't exactly know what to do with myself. <sighs> you know, Boris, I think Sundowner was right in a way. Killing the Patriots wasn't enough to end war. It didn't create this big, happy utopia. But you know what? Seeing Sonny doing so well makes me damn happy the Patriots are gone. Yes, I can imagine. You saved many lives. But now here we are, all over again, huh? Indeed. My apologies for putting you through all this. I knew what I was in for. Riding out. Right. Our enemy has multiple options for striking the president in Pakistan. At the base after landing, while in transit within the country, during the meeting. But if Sundowner's right, they're gonna strike within three hours after you killed him. Which means they're either gonna attack Air Force One, or they'll wait until he lands. I kinda doubt there are any Pakistanis on board Air Force One, though. It's not like in the movies. They never let foreign press on the flight. They could try to shoot it down from afar, I guess. But anything the Pakistan Air Force could deploy would show up on U.S. radar instantly. Which means their best bet at kickstarting another war on terror would be post-landing. They're probably set up for the assassination over at the base. You better get moving. What's up? By the way, you mind if I ask, what's she like? Who, Sonny? I don't know. Kind of a child prodigy, I guess. You're the one who rescued her, right? From the Patriot Lab? Yeah. Well, it's kind of a long story, but in the end, yeah. Then she was handed over to Dr. Emmerich. Right. We had to hide her away at first, from the Patriots. It wasn't exactly fun. She couldn't even go outside for the most part. That's terrible. But in the meantime, Arik, Dr. Emmerich, taught her all about programming and computer engineering. It was her code that destroyed the Patriot AIs. After the dust settled, Dr. Emmerich adopted her, officially becoming her legal guardian. But how'd she end up at Solus? What about school? Oh, she went. For about a year, I think. She was way too far ahead of her peers, though. Probably could have qualified for her BS in computer engineering by that point. Why not go through with it? Just get the degree. We discussed it, but Sonny was more interested in Solus by then. Dr. Emmerich had contacts there, so... So now she's designing launch vehicles and stuff, huh? Wish I had some of that talent. Well, a lot of it might be the Patriots doing. Who knows what their experiments did to her brain. And in the end, she used it to destroy them. The irony, huh? In Pakistan already, and so quickly. Ah, science never ceases to amaze me. When it's for peaceful purposes, you mean. <clears throat> well, yes, of course. Of course. I must say, though, the engineer behind that RLV craft looked rather young to me. Yeah, a gifted kid, you might say. I would love a chance to meet her sometime. Why? What would you say to her? Oh, I don't know. It's always just such a stimulating experience. Speaking with scientists from fields other than mine, that is. It often leads to all sorts of new insights, new ideas to work with. And speaking of that, I have yet to meet Dr. Emmerich, too. <laughs> I, uh, doubt you two would get along, actually. Oh, you think so? Hmm. Anyway, how are the brains doing? Oh, just fine. Safe and sound in Mexico. Now I just have to get them loaded and en route to Germany. Of course, the real challenge will come after that, I suppose. Yeah. We'll get there when we get there. Indeed. Indeed. Do be careful in the meantime. Hey, Wolf. 
What did you and Sam talk about before we fought? Nothing of note. He was not one to reveal himself to others. All right. You don't have to tell me. Raiden, I do not feel good about this. Do not allow yourself to be caught off guard. Duly noted. How was the ride? Hey, Sonny. Fine, thanks. Though I wouldn't call it the smoothest ride ever. You sure that thing's really airworthy? Well... Well, what do you expect? You're traveling at a few dozen times the speed of sound. I mean, she operates well within all the projected margins of safety, so... Yes. We'll have to work on the turbulence levels a bit before we can take tourists on it. But come on, you really can't complain. So it's meant mainly for cargo at the moment? Mm-hmm. We got a contract with COTS, NASA's Commercial Orbital Transportation Services. Mostly handling space deliveries, that kind of thing. We also joined the C-3PO, the Commercial Crew and Cargo Program Office's Passenger Transport Program. So soon we'll have private spacecraft bringing crew to the International Space Station. Wild times we're living in. Well, the space race has been over for decades now. It's no longer something countries engage in for vanity's sake. Still, lots of people are starting to see the industrial value of zero-gravity experiments. Plus, the costs are getting lower and lower with each passing year, to the point where we'll have a serious space tourism industry before long. Yeah, I heard about the space hotel the Russians opened up. But we're still not going any further than orbit, right? Well, one company's planning to have a lunar landing craft complete by 2020. Not ours, though. I'm just hoping we can get to Jupiter while Hal's still alive. Jupiter, huh? Wow, that's pretty far. Oh, hey! How did Earth look from up there? I can't even put it into words. I know I was still under the Kármán line, but it looked exactly like every satellite photo of Earth I've ever seen. No borders, no nothing. Just a whole lot of blue. Hopefully next time around, I can take my time and enjoy it. Yeah. But first things first, you know? Yep. Well, good luck, Jack. Right in. See that? Their EXIF codes show up as unaffiliated. Wait, Marshall has the security contract for this base. Why would they have their cyborg set to the same illegal EXIF code as Desperado? It's evidence against them. No, it's their alibi. They're making it look like Desperado hacked their soldiers on site, because everyone knows Desperado has a contract with... The Pakistani rebels. Oh, but if we go public with the Desperado-Marshall connection... Won't matter. Not when they've got this nice big foreign threat all cooked up and ready to serve. The media and the public won't be able to resist. Remember WMDs in Iraq? Damn it, you're right. It's another slam dunk. What about any humans on the base? Marshall only handled security. Dead, most likely. Or brain jacked, if they needed them to keep up appearances. Huh. They'd never publicize what airport the president was flying into. Not in this region. And almost no one would have access to an outside line for security reasons. It wouldn't be difficult to keep things hush-hush. At least until Air Force One arrives. I'm heading for the control tower. If I can destroy the antenna array, the U.S. military will know something's wrong. Good idea. Be careful. Sam's gone. 
and I blew the winds of destruction away. I'll be fine. Time to worry about the soldiers. Get to the control tower.
See Jack. Just a little too late, as usual. I'm strong. Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. Raiden, Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. How did they... A story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic, but nothing to start a major war over. That's just the spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism, unilateralism, materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith, without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit! The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all 
sons of the Patriots now! <sighs> we just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? DMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. <sighs> of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message!
<laughs> Slippery little bastard! I don't have time for this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! One day, every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it! A nation of action, not words ruled by strength, not committee! Where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around! Where power and justice are back where they belong! In the hands of the people! Where every man is free to think, to act for himself. The 
Fuck all these lunatic lawyers! The chicken shit bureaucrats! Fuck this 24-7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit! <laughs> Fuck American pride! Fuck the media! Fuck all of it! America is diseased, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! And from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! The weak will be purged. And the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What the hell are you talking about? You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected! So I can end war as a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe! Not for money, not for oil! Not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars! <laughs> so, what do you think? How the hell did you get elected? <laughs> well, I don't write my own speeches. You should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. I was wrong. You're not greedy. You're batshit insane! Omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the weak, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight and steal and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours.
you die! <laughs> Nanomachine, son! They harden in response to physical trauma. You can't hurt me, Jack! <laughs> what did I just say? Time to end this. That little sword can save your master. <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good point. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now, created my own directives. You little fuck. <laughs>
Well done, Jack. Your dream dies with you. Oh, maybe not. You've guaranteed the status quo will go on. For a while longer, at least. War will continue as an institution, as an industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. But at least I'll leave a worthy successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. pet right for your family but first our top story president hamilton returns from pakistan today completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in shabazzbad last may in meetings with pakistani president farooq salam the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the war on terror whereby u.s marines will be stationed in pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country this is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil and military leadership, with many in the government calling on the ISI Military Intelligence Agency to be investigated. Unbelievable. After all that. For the last time, let it go, Courtney. At least Armstrong will never be president. But, I mean, Ryden. There he is. I had excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. I guess the world's first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care, but this is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? So all the pre uh, children can work now, the rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. We're not running a charity here, huh? <laughs> Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they'll learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, huh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets, or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance, <laughs> huh? No. <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> oops. Uh, an imperfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. A peaceful application for all my research. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you care? Well, recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? 
No kidding. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. Quite well. Oi, Sunny! Where you have this then? Hang on. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Mm. You're the same age as me, but all these spaceships? You're a genius, girl. Mm -hmm. And you're hot for days. Huh? Where did that come from? <laughs> Alert! Alert! Resend it! <laughs> <laughs> this is about a crazy world, nah? <laughs> For me, see that ninja! Me never think I've been this kind of life! Yeah. Huh? He rescued me too, you know saved my life. I owe him everything. To some people, he'll always be Jack the Ripper. I know all about his past. He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. Hmm. But that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know is a hero. Looking down on the cars on the highway The stream of taillights Everybody is dancing together To so willingly sacrifice rights When people accept their cogs in the system Give up Looking down on the virgin and sea The skyscrapers rise Even men with the greatest intentions Stop believing their own lies We can borrow from the future But eventually someone's got to pay The only way out on the side 
Oh, good, good. Her doctor's research and staffing service certainly help. I hear world marshals looking for a buyer. <laughs> well, you cost them a lot of money, no? Not to mention killing their funding. Literally. <laughs> uh, the break-taking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Uh, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Fighting for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Big pardon? No. Nothing. Oh. So... Your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, Boris. I understand. But then... What will you do? 